All right, what's up, y'all? Sean of Back to Basics Fitness. And um, I want to talk about what I'm doing, my own personal experiment to get into a muscle lift. So if you follow my channel for a while, you know that um, body weight fitness is my thing. I do pretty much only calisthenics. I'm not opposed to lifting weights and stuff like that. But back in my 20s, so, you know, in I'm like early to mid 20s, I started doing only calisthenics. and um, and that's how it's been, you know, for the past, you know, probably 15 years. I don't know. Um, but anyhow, I haven't gotten a muscle up yet. So that's why I say this is an experiment. I say this as one who has not gotten a muscle up yet. However, I have attempted here and there, at least at least in my head I have. Um, but another thing I have done toward that end, oh, make sure you like and subscribe, uh, by the way, as well. But one thing that's been very interesting interesting to me as a personal trainer is wondering the mechanics of the move, specifically of the strict muscle up. Okay. And so when I say strict muscle up, I mean no momentum, no kipping, um, just good clean, do a pull up, and then transition into the dip. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So the kipping um muscle up, um, K I P P I N G. That's the muscle up where you you kind of use some momentum and some body swing and you pull yourself, you jerk yourself over the bar. Very popular with uh, CrossFit. Um, whereas the strict muscle up, like I say, it's a very gradual move, incredible strength. I first really saw, I think, a really good um, strict muscle up with uh, Hannibal for King, you know, one of the OGs of calisthenics and body weight fitness um amazing physique amazing strength so that's the one that i'm interested in however i think now i know what the key is as far as like getting a muscle up again experimental but i'm curious you know to those of you who are who have already achieved a strict muscle up let me know like how on this is how how um how on point this is and if you haven't gotten a muscle up like myself then um, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so first of all, one key obviously is having a solid foundation of pull-ups. Obviously, because if you can't if you can't pull up and pull up with ease, then I mean, how you you're not going. That's the first part, right? So that's something that I've definitely mastered. You know, back when I was first starting, just doing only calisthenics. I could barely do two pull-ups. And the two I got were bad, really bad. I'm talking about narrow range of motion, all that kind of stuff. But now I can do solid pull-ups at any point. You know, I, the, my maximum number of, I think, pull-ups is like 23 maybe. I think that's what my pull-ups were. I, I always get mixed up whether it's the underhand, like the chin-ups or pull-ups. I think it's 23 for the pull-ups. Front hand grip and pull up, you know, at least to where your chin uh, clears the bar, if not, you know, lower neck region. However, if you try to pull up and go into that transition part, if you're not using momentum, then there you, you, you get stuck about here. When you start to get close to chest, you kind of get stuck here. And so I was kind of trying to wrap my brain around what is it that – um what strength am I missing in that transition part, the transition between the pull up and the dip? I'm about to pull my headphones out. All right, now, but what I say, number two, this is my thoughts. Number two, I believe, is tricep strength. Now, if you've ever done a high pull up, going as high as you can, you know, until you kind of start to get to that sticking point, you'll probably notice, like I have, that you start to feel a lot of tension here in the tricep, but especially where it attaches here at the elbow, okay? And so this, to me, the tricep, especially here with the attachment here, is key for achieving a muscle up because that's where you start to feel that, you start to feel that um, tension go from wherever in your back and your biceps to your triceps whenever you kind of start to do this whole rotation thing here. So what I've been doing, and I've been doing these for years, but I haven't really focused on doing them to achieve muscle-ups per se. 
But I've been doing tiger push-ups, and I'm going to have a video here where you can kind of see those demonstrated. Now, sometimes I personally had to be careful with those because they're pretty intense. They put a lot of tension on the triceps, which is what you want. However, because it's a lot of tension, you have to be real careful with the form. Sometimes I might feel a little, um, you know, pain in my shoulder or even in my elbow. But the thing is, so the one in the video I'm doing, I have my arms pretty far ahead and it's good. It's good arm work. But the the further back you pull your elbows while you're on the ground, the more attention you're really going to put on that tricep where it attaches at the elbow. And I think that's key. But you got to gradually go into it. OK. And so I've had my arms further back in the past, but I'm kind of like working with a uh, re shoulder rehabilitation kind of deal. So anyway, that's key. Another one that you may have heard of is the the Russian dip where you get on. And I'm not doing dips right now also because of shoulder stuff. But when you do the dip, when you get into the down position, then you kind of roll back onto your elbows. So your elbows are kind of pretty much or your forearms are resting on the dip bar. Then you roll back and come up and that's doing you have your arms really bent. So you got a lot of tension on that tricep. And then you roll back. And if you notice, that's kind of like in that transition point. I know I look kind of funny doing that. But um, I've done those a little bit in the past. But the key is to do a slow Russian dip. A slow Russian dip. So you 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 come to the bottom and then you slowly roll down and kind of rest. Then you come back up and transition and come up. So you see that that directly trains the transition point. The third thing that I just realized last week, I was like, what is it? And then then it came to me. And and I can't take full credit for this. I have to shout out um, the YouTube channel Saturno Movement, I think is what it's called. They were talking about using rows for um, getting the muscle up. And now I understand why. Because the thing is, when you do it, so think about it, when you do a pull up, when you do a pull up, pull ups are back work for sure, but they only work your back so much because your hands are over your head. So you're doing a lot of lats here and you're getting a little bit of middle back. Not, no, no doubt, because I've done so many pull ups over the past several years, I've definitely gotten like a V taper and some back development, middle back development. However, to really get back development for, for one, you have to pull your shoulder blades in that's when you really get it and rows cause you to pull in your shoulder blades but then also what i noticed is when you go through the transition point when you do the pull up and you and you start to go through the transition what do you have to do you have to pull your shoulder blades back and so that's where um rows are going to train that way more than pull-ups because it's going to force you to really contract those um shoulder blades your scapula scapulae i don't know what the plural is it's gonna really force you to contract those and so what i do is i've been working in rows with my upper back i mean with my back work and i do i actually they're pretty easy a lot easier than pull-ups but i do you know maybe about sets of 15 and then i'll hold that last rip get a really strong contraction so you know at the top so i can really develop that strength so I believe if if I continue to do that, or as I continue to do that, rather, then especially getting that strength, because um, I already have the pull-up strength, especially getting that strength in the triceps with emphasis here, and then getting the back strength through rows, especially with contracting and holding like a tight, um, you know, uh, top row position, pulling those those shoulder blades back and holding that i believe that's going to be like the main key to developing strength for the muscle up but again if you're one who's already gotten the strict muscle up, not the not the momentum one but the strict muscle up let me know if this is this seems like it's on point and if you haven't gotten a muscle up before but you like me and you have a solid foundation of pull-ups uh dips um and all that kind of stuff push-ups all that stuff um, and you're, like I said, you're an aspiring muscle upper, if you will. Um, let me know in the comments how this sounds, if it, how it sounds like rational wise. Okay. I'm, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are. All right. Appreciate it, y'all. As we get older, it becomes increasingly important to maintain and build muscle. 
Muscle helps you burn fat, stay mobile, and can contribute to longevity. However, many people have no idea how to work out to build muscle. My mini workout series on Patreon provides you with my body weight mini workout video library. These workouts use little to no equipment, which means that you can do them in the privacy of your own home. They start at beginner level and progress from there to ensure you continue to see results. Every workout is a full body workout, hitting chest, back, legs, and glutes, as well as other muscles in between. Become a patron today and receive access to my series of mini workouts, plus access to a digital copy of my book, Eight Weeks to Transform Your Diet and Your Health. By combining the workouts with healthy diet changes, as outlined in my book, you'll definitely be on your way to weight loss, improved health, and visible results. Join me at patreon.com forward slash Sean B2B Fitness today. If you like this content, you might also be interested in one of my books. Learn how you can take steps literally today to successfully manage, control, and overcome common issues such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and belly fat. It's all about putting power back in your hands to improve your own health. Get your book copy today by the links in the description or by visiting seanmcclennan.com forward slash books. Also, don't forget, hit the like button and subscribe and join my email list at seanmcclendon.com forward slash subscribe.